In this video, we are going to talk about orthogonal vectors. Orthogonal vectors. What are orthogonal vectors? Orthogonal vectors are two vectors, two vectors that are perpendicular to each other. Okay? Two vectors that are what? Perpendicular to each other. Mathematically, their dot product is equal to zero. So, given two vectors a and b, okay, that are orthogonal, mathematically, the dot product of a and b is equal to zero. So, two vectors that are perpendicular to each other, that is, the angle between them is 90 degrees, are called orthogonal vectors. And their dot product or their scalar product equals zero. We can actually prove it very easy. Remember, we said that for dot product, the formula is a dot b equal to the modulus of a times the modulus of b times the cosine of the angle between them. In this case, now we are saying that the angle between them is 90 degrees. That means we have modulus of a into the modulus of b times cos 90 times cos 90 degrees okay so cos 90 degrees is zero yes cos 90 is zero so everything here is equal to what zero that's for the dot product so you can see what we are saying for two vectors that are orthogonal or perpendicular to each other their dot product is zero on this note let us solve this question on the board we have to find the value of a if the vectors a equal to 2i plus 3j plus 4k and b equal to 2i plus aj plus k are orthogonal. So the principle remains the same for orthogonality of two vectors. The dot product equals zero. So what is the dot product of a and b? It is this 2 times 2 plus minus 3 times a minus 3 times a plus 4 times 1 the coefficient of k here is 1 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 times a is minus 3a 4 times 1 is 4 okay 4 plus 4 is 8 that's 8 minus 3a since the vectors are orthogonal it means that the adult product is equal to 0. So, if we go to the other side, we have minus 3a equal to minus 8. Divide both sides by minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. This will cancel out. a will be equal to minus to cancel minus 8 upon 3, which is the same thing as saying 2 over number 2 over 3. Alright? So, the value of A for which these two vectors A and B are orthogonal is 8 over 3 or 2 whole number 2 over 3. So, this is it for orthogonal vectors and perpendicular vectors. There is a problem for you to solve. You have to find the value of C if A equal to this is perpendicular to B equal to this. Remember the principle for perpendicularity of two vectors, their dot product equal to zero. Well, we can see that the vectors are in bracket form. We can easily convert them to component form. So, work it out, determine the value of C, and then drop the answer in the comment section. I'm going to review it. So, this is it for orthogonal vectors. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel, like the videos, and share it to your friends and to your classmates. I will see you in the next one. Keep following.